Hello guys, so in this uh, quick video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, write equations in Canvas because uh, homework six was ha will have such kind of questions. So you will, you will be given a circuit uh, with two diodes and uh, it's required to prove that the voltage in, in each diode is, uh, is equal to each other. And you should do that, uh, you know, uh, I mean, this proof into Canvas. So no handwriting, no file upload, okay? So let's see how to do that. I'm gonna here show you how to, you know, very simple examples that will give you, uh, you know, enough idea basically on how to do that uh, in Canvas basically, or in Canvas environment with a Canvas editor, this rich editor here. So basically the, our example is to write the relation, the equation between I and V of the diode, okay? Which is I equal to IS, then exponential v over, v over vt minus one. It's really very basic and simple example. So let's write something. Here is uh, the equation, okay? So to write an equation in Canvas, I have here the, the equation environment, which is this, uh, you know, insert to math equation, this icon here. Okay, if you have full screen, it may appear here just on the toolbar. If you don't, uh, like me here, then, then you know, just you know, expand this, re, uh, this button here and you will find it. Okay, so this will transfer you to another uh, window, which is this window here, in which you can do or write whatever equation you want. So the first, we have ID. I, I subscript D. So we need some, some symbols in a subscript. So just write I, okay? And we need a subscript, then press this button here, subscript. Then write, you know, the D, okay? Then uh, do just uh, the right arrow. So to go to, you know, the, to the beginning of the line. So I equal, so just write equal here. Uh, I S again, we need I and we need a subscript, which is S. Okay. Then again, the right arrow. Then you open a brackets. Okay. Here we need exponential. So I think you have exponential somewhere here. And if you don't just write exponential. So let's see, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe math operators. So it looks like we don't have, because it's basically, you know, writing English, like, like I here. So basically we're gonna do it just in the normal way, X, X, okay. And then we write again, another, another bracket. Then we need V over VT or VD over VT. So we need, you know, this uh, fraction operators. And then we write as a VD, we need some script again, so. So VD, then in the numerator, denominator we have VD, subscript again, oh, VT, okay. Then uh, plus or minus, I'm sorry, minus one. So where is the minus here? And this is Mr. One, okay? Here is, you know, the, how to do it. Let's write, you know, uh, the other equation, VT as a function of I. This is I as a function of V. So let's check for this is the output of this. Look, it's really pretty. How about if you did some, some mistake in this? What if you did, for example, you write just here, minus VD or, or, or you know, some, some, some any, any mistake, like for example, plus one. So you can just click on it, just a click, uh, you know, left a click. Then write or choose edit equation. Then you can, you know, choose whatever you want or do whatever you want. Okay. So it's really nice. Okay, let's do the the opposite. So this is basically here. You can just write text in front of it. So this is I as a function of V. Okay. So let's do the opposite way. Let's do V as a function of I. Okay, so let's see how we're gonna do that. So again, insert the equation. So this is the guy, 
So the equation that relates V to I is V, e, VD equal to uh, VT len uh, I over or ID over IS uh, plus one, not minus one. So we need V, Mr. V here, we need subscript. Here is the subscript. So this is the guy that should be the variety arrow again. Another V, another subscript. Then the right arrow again. Then Lin. There is no, uh, can have some, you know, some space, no worries. Uh, here we need, uh, yeah, you don't need like, any another bracket. So we need a fraction. This fraction would be ID, subscript. Uh, then in the denominator, we have IS subscript, sorry. Okay. Then another arrow like, no. Then plus one, plus, okay. One may wonder what is this superscript? This is for the exponent. So let's do, so let's insert this first and see. Look guys, very nice. Let's do this version of this, uh, like e to the power. Of course, exponentially just e, but let's do it in that way. So I think we can copy and paste. I don't, I'm not sure. Let's see if we can copy and paste. Yes, we can copy and paste. We can also edit. That's very nice. Okay, now let's do that in the other way, which is uh, e to the power. So subscript, or so, I'm sorry, superscript now. Then you can cut and paste here. And you can just remove these brackets. They are very big. Oh, maybe you can't, you can't, yes. So just to do the fraction like this, that's fine. V subscript D, then the numerator would be V subscript, uh, V subscript uh, T, okay? Let's see what we have here, yeah. Okay, so you have both versions, whatever you want. And you, as you said, as, as we see, we can copy and paste from it. And we can just write, of course, in the editor here, you can just write any other, any text. For, so when you do the proof, you can write, so then, you know, all such English text. Uh, but of course, when, when it comes to writing some equation, do it using the equation editor, this guy here, okay? So that's all for, you know, uh, then you submit the quiz and that's it. Uh, that's all for this uh, short video on Canvas uh, math equations and good luck in the homework. Bye-bye.